Welcome to Using Controlled Vocabulary. This video will introduce you to controlled vocabulary and cover how to use controlled vocabulary to become a better searcher. A controlled vocabulary is a standardized set of terms assigned by an indexer to help sort information by content and meaning. When searching for articles and books, knowing how to find and use a database's controlled vocabulary can help you search more efficiently. Controlled vocabularies are needed because people use different words to mean the same type of thing. For example, is this a soda? Is it a pop? A carbonated beverage? Is this a restaurant or a cafe? Is this an automobile or a car? Databases use controlled vocabularies to choose one term and decide that they will use only that term when sorting items by subject. You are probably already familiar with some controlled vocabularies. For example, if you have ever looked at a phone book, you would notice that they refer you to their standardized term. If you look up cafe, you will be directed to restaurants. Or if you look in a book index to find out if a book contains information about a particular subject. Or if you have looked up a word in a thesaurus. These are all examples of items that use controlled vocabularies. Generally, when you begin searching in a database for books or articles, you begin by using keywords for your topic. Using the database's controlled vocabulary is another more advanced option that you can use to find additional materials on your topic. Keyword searches are when you think about the major concepts in your research question and identify the keywords along with some additional terms. These are user-generated and tend to be more intuitive. When doing a keyword search in a database, the database scans through the material and tries to match your keywords with words in the material. However, these user-generated words may not return all of the potential results for a particular subject. A database's controlled vocabulary or its subject headings are created specifically by the indexers to describe items within that database. Searching a database for one of its subject headings will guarantee you at least one result since, in order for that subject heading to exist, an indexer would have had to assign it to an item within the database. Searching using the subject headings searches the controlled vocabulary that has been assigned to articles or items with that same subject. So these can be more reliable, but they are often less intuitive or flexible since they are controlled. Additionally, it can be hard to find the subject term for a new or emerging field. Since both methods of searching each has its own benefits and drawbacks, it is helpful to use each. Let's go through two examples of how to use a keyword search to identify subject headings and then use those subject headings to locate additional materials. Begin at the library homepage and do a keyword search in the library catalog for diabetes. I am interested in general information about diabetes as well as how diabetes is treated. This book, titled Diabetes, looks like it might help me begin to understand the topic. Click on the title to view more information and the subjects or the controlled vocabulary assigned to the book. We can see here that this book has been assigned three subject headings, diabetes-treatment, health and fitness-diseases-diabetes, and electronic books. The last one only helps me if I was only looking for electronic books, and the second one seems like the focus might be useful, but not exactly what I'm looking for. However, the first one is exactly what I need. Even though I didn't know that there was a defined subject heading or how to type it in, now I can use that subject heading or controlled vocabulary to find additional materials that are related to my topic. Click on that subject heading to see how many other items in the library's collection have all been assigned that same subject heading. There are over 2,000 total items, and looking at the formats, there are 19 ebooks. Now I can easily view all of the material within the catalog that have that same exact subject heading. Now let's return to the library homepage and follow the same steps using the library databases to find articles. Choose Databases A to Z and select Academic Search Complete. 
the same search in Academic Search Complete yields 80,000 articles that have the word diabetes somewhere in them, but that aren't necessarily about diabetes or diabetes treatment. Notice that each result has a list of subjects that have been assigned to them in addition to the publication information. These subjects are the controlled vocabularies that an indexer has assigned to these articles and are a good indication of what the article content actually covers. To refine the search to just include articles with subjects related to diabetes and diabetes treatment, use the tool on the left hand side called Subject Thesaurus Terms. This is a list of all the different subject headings or controlled vocabularies that appear in all of our results. This menu allows you to select one or more subject headings to refine by selecting diabetes-treatment refines my search from over 80,000 articles that contained the word diabetes in them to just the 3,600 or so that have been assigned the specific subject of diabetes treatment due to the content of the article. Make sure to use keyword searches to begin searching in the catalog or a database, and then refine and enhance your search by using the specific subject headings or controlled vocabularies of that resource. If you have trouble using controlled vocabularies or finding materials, just ask a librarian. And that's using controlled vocabularies.